Hey everybody, the Bond guys back. Welcome to part 9, and what is the finale of Let's Replay The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening? Okay, it's finally time to wake up the Windfish. Now that we have all eight musical instruments. Oot! The Windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Alright, this is it. Gather the instruments. It's got a funky beat to it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine like a giant yolk ran out and Link had to slide down the stairs. The time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. Okay. And now the maze begins. So it's a good thing I did take a picture of the directions in that book. So you go left. Up two times. Then you go right three times. Two. Three. And then you go up twice. And this is it. We were born of nightmares. To take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble! Alright, this is it, the final boss. Alright, so this has multiple weaknesses because it has multiple forms. First form, you need the powder. Alright, it's gonna go to phase two the Aghanim fight. Basically, you just deflect the uh, shots back at him. As long as there are like the uh, spheres. Doesn't give you a lot of space to react if it's the uh, clusters. Oh, and that's a full heart too. Oh, I timed it wrong. All right, phase three. Good thing I have two fairies. Uh, 
uh, the Moldorm phase. Now the Ganon phase. Ow. Not a good spot to protect myself. Alternatively, you can just use the Pegasus boots. What? I was in the right spot. Maybe you're not supposed to get them on the front. Pegasus boots also works. Maybe that's what I should be doing instead. Yeah, because you just bounce off of them. Yeah, maybe if I could just face the correct way the first time. This is usually the part where I take more damage. Oh my god! Just go the right way, Link! It's not that hard! Okay, finally! Still took an extra damage anyway. Okay, the Landmola phase. Oh, this one just violates your personal space. The music changed, that means we're on the last phase. You have to hit it in the eye. I guess if you time your throw right, you can get him several times. Yeah, it seems to be only, like, two hits max. Oh my god. You should start worrying when the arms get a little out of sync. It's almost downed. Dead. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. It's not your world anymore. Bonga, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Young lad, I mean Banga, the hero, you have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. 
As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Bonga, came to rescue the island. I've always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Bonga. My work is done. The Windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Hoot. Oh, I'm a whirl. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared. It was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come, Bonga. Let us awaken. Together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Okay. You know, those Octox didn't really do much wrong. Drowns the end. Or gets launched into space and then his head explodes. Wait, don't you get like an extended ending if you beat the game Deathless? <laughs> I like this art style. I mean, eventually he's got to find land or he's going to starve to death. So anyway, that's it. That's The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Nintendo Switch. I've already done a playthrough of the Game Boy Color version and now, years later, finally playing it on the Switch. Well, I already played through it. Twice, actually. Once normally, in a hero mode run on stream. But, uh, I think this might end up being the last time I cover this game. Because, honestly, like, what more can I really do? So, would I recommend it? I recommend it if it's on sale. Otherwise, you can just stick to the original version, and you'll still get a good experience out of it. I mean, sure, the Switch version has quality of life improvements, but, uh... 
I'm sure there are hacks of the original version that give you some of those quality of life enhancements as well. If you ever choose to seek those out yourself, that's entirely up to you. But for me, I think this experience is good enough. So in that case, this is the Bong is signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play or Replay. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time.